Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon Bias from ChittyJacket.com, here with another Photoshop Beginners Tutorial. Today, we're going to go over yet another Photoshop request. And this time, it's from a user named Frederick Q8, and he pretty much just said, Hey, you guys have an awesome background. Can you teach me how to make it or upload it? And the answer is yes, we can teach you how to do it, right here and right now. All you're going to need to start off is some kind of texture. We used one called Texture 22 from the Evolution DVD from VideoCopilot.net. If you don't have a texture of your own, that's alright. You can probably just go to Google and type in texture and you'll get plenty of images that have textures that you can work with. Assuming you've got the texture that you want, go ahead and bring it into Photoshop. And as soon as you have Photoshop open as well as your image, the first thing you're going to want to take care of is getting rid of all of the color in it. So what we're going to do is make sure that we have this layer selected over here and go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate or Shift Control U. And that'll just desaturate it so that there's no color whatsoever in it. It's all grayscale. And now you guys get to get in touch with your inner child. Go ahead and make a new layer. It doesn't have to be a certain name or anything like that. And go to your brush tool by hitting the letter B. And make sure it's this first brush right here. Whoops. That first brush right there with a 0% hardness and a pretty decent size in comparison to the rest of your image over here. See, it's a pretty good size. And what you're going to want to do is go off to your foreground color right here. And just choose just whatever color you want to start off with, like a green. And just, you know, paint randomly. Just wherever you want to see some green, you know, just paint there. And then change the color to, you know, whatever you want to work with next, like a light blue. And paint it somewhere else. And you're pretty much just going to do this for, you know, whatever color your heart desires. And make sure you have a little bit of fun with it. Just wee. It doesn't have to be neat or anything like that. It's just gotta cover most of the most of the image right here. And once you have enough colors, go ahead and go to the layer right here that you painted all of them on, and just change the blend mode to color. And as you can see, all the colors are now showing through onto the texture below. And we're just gonna grab the move tool real fast. And what we want to do is make all of these colors blend a little bit. And that's not too terribly hard. We're just going to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And just choose a, a large enough radius to make the, the colors blend a little bit. And how much you want to blur it is completely up to you. De you know, it depends how much you want them to, uh, to either blend or stand apart. I'm going to go to about 100 some odd pixels, make it blend fairly nicely. And once you've got that just about right, go ahead and hit OK. And then go to your, your background layer right here that has your texture on it. And go to Image, Adjustments, and it's Exposure right about here. And I'm going to have this off to the side right about here so I can see what's going on as I make adjustments. So what's going to happen is you're going to have three sliders right here. If you put the exposure up, it's going to make your brights brighter. If you put the offset down, it's going to make your darks darker. And then if you put the gamma correction up a little bit, it will also make your darks darker. So what you're going to want to do is just play with this until it's at a setting that you like. And then you can just check out the preview, see if you like it or not. And maybe we'll do a little less uh, gamma correction on there. And I'm liking how that's looking as it is. So when you've got it nice and exposed, go ahead and hit OK. And you're already most of the way done. All that's left to take care of is selecting both of these layers. 
And if you don't know how to do that, just click on one layer and then hold control and click the other one, kind of like how you select multiple things on your desktop or whatever. And we're just going to merge these together by hitting control E, or if you're on a Mac, it's command E. And then we're just going to go to image adjustment levels or control L or command L. We're just going to make this a little bit darker on this end, a little bit lighter on this end. And you can check out the little before and after. Hit OK. And I'm going to hit tab and control zero to zoom in just a little bit. Like I said, not too hard. You just got to get in touch with your inner child. So let's take this a step further by putting our logo on it. And if you remember, our logo is just this little insignia thing right here with two inward arrows. And we were able to turn our logo into a brush. So what we're going to do is make a new layer and go to the brush tool with our insignia on it. It's one of our brush presets. So don't get confused by, by that. So go ahead and make your logo completely in white or just some text or anything like that. Just make it white on its own layer and make sure it's one layer because that's going to be kind of important. And do select all by hitting uh, select all or just control A up here. And then if you have your move tool selected, you can click this icon right here and this one right there and it will center everything perfectly and then just do select deselect and this next concept is pretty simple but make sure you pay attention all right go over to the layer that's got all of your white stuff on it and hold control and you'll see that the hand icon changes to have a little box over it and give this thumbnail a click and it will load the selection over here turn off this layer go back to your background layer and hit control J on a PC or command J on a Mac and it will duplicate the contents of what you had selected from your background so just to show you what I mean I'm gonna put a white background behind this to show you that this section of the background has been duplicated with that command and that selection okay so what we're gonna do with this duplicated insignia is we're gonna have the layer selected over here and we're just gonna go to image adjustments exposure and we're just gonna expose it a little bit change the offset and the gamma correction till you get something that you like and you don't really see a lot going on right now so what we're gonna do to fix that up is hit OK and then we're gonna give this layer a stroke and the default black stroke with three pixels and all that stuff should be just fine but we're also gonna give it a drop shadow and we're gonna make sure it's at 120 degrees put the opacity up to 100 percent and we're gonna mess with the distance and the size and all that stuff so that it's a nice big soft shadow Let's make that a little bit thicker. And when you've got something that you like, hit OK. Close that up. And I can go ahead and delete this layer right here. And that's it. You guys are done. You know, it's just a little bit of experimenting with the exposure and all that good stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any more requests, feel free to ask us. We're always happy to... Uh, get more ideas from you guys for tutorials and if you have any questions ask us in the comments below or send us a message and all that other good stuff so thanks for watching again and see you guys next time